Today we're going to be making a newspaper armature for a paper mache animal. To get started, you're going to need two large sheets of newspaper. Take one of them and crumble it up and roll it up in the larger sheet just like a burrito. So I roll it up for a little bit, I fold the two sides over, and I keep rolling it nice and tight. But oh no, I've made a mistake! I don't have any tape! You need to get yourself set up with tape before you do anything else. So I'm using this little green basket the same way you're gonna use the side of your table. Make sure you get at least six, seven, or eight little pieces of tape ready before you start taping. Since this first big burrito is gonna be used for the body of my animal and I used a whole sheet, I'm gonna now use a half a sheet for his head. So same thing, take that big sheet, rip it in half, crumble up one piece, roll it up in the newsprint just like a burrito. So roll it a little bit, fold those sides in, and try to roll it up nice and neat. You don't want any of those rice and beans falling out the side. Use that tape that you've prepared and figure out where you want to put your head. If you put it in one spot, it might look like a penguin. If you put it in another spot, it might look like a duck. We're not all making cats today. I'm just showing you how I made a cat, but you know, a cat with long ears is gonna look like a puppy or a cat shaped body, but with a beak, it's gonna look like a duck. So this one shape, just using a whole sheet for the body and a half sheet for the head can be used for a lot of different kinds of animals. Now notice that I used four or five pieces of tape to get that head stuck on there and then I'm taking a long piece and I'm wrapping it all around the neck to make it nice and secure. So next I'm going to work on his ears. You can use scraps of cardboard work really well. You can crumble up some more newsprint. Basically anything that's not going to get too floppy when it gets damp can work for your arm armature. The recycle bin is a really good place to look for things to help build the insides of your sculpture. So I'm using two pieces of tape, one on the front of the ear, one on the back of the ear. You may have noticed that I cut out one of those triangles and then I traced it to make sure that the two ears would be the same size. Next, I'm gonna work on his legs. Um, back to the newspaper, a half sheet or a quarter sheet is gonna work really well. So here I have a quarter sheet and I'm just gonna roll it up into a tube and fold it until it, I get it to be the shape that I want. I'm really sort of making this up as I go along, so I don't do it the same way every time. This is one of those projects where you just have to play around and you know see what you can do to make your animal look the shape that you want it to be. It's gonna take a lot of tape to get those legs to stay just the way I want them, but that's okay. Just keep using that tape until you've got a nice solid base for your paper mache. Something that's important to notice is I am making my cat sitting down. This is one of the first paper mache projects we're doing and it is really hard to get an animal with long skinny legs to stand up properly for your first project. So I'm gonna ask that you try to make your animal sitting. It's just gonna save you a lot of pain down the road. And then once you get the feel for, for paper mache, there certainly are ways to make animals stand up. But with you know 20 of us doing this project all at the same time, a sitting animal is gonna be much, much easier for you to deal with. For the front paws again, I took a quarter sheet, I rolled it up, I folded it up, and I just want the two front paws to stick out just a little bit, so I sort of folded them into a V shape, and I'm just gonna tuck that underneath the front of my animal. Now I'm gonna move on to the tail. I want my cat to have a curvy tail, and that's kind of tough to do with the newspaper, but tin foil is really great for anything that you want to mold into curves. So the only problem with tin foil is it's really hard to get it to stick. So I've crumbled it up into the shape that I want, and I'm gonna use probably five or six pieces of tape. I'm, I'm taping it to all sides of his body, and then I'm actually gonna grab a longer piece and wrap it around the tail to make sure that tail is gonna stay put. This is great for if you're doing a monkey and you want long arms, or anytime you, you want something that's gonna be curved. Now most animals have a snout, and so look how the egg carton makes a really great shape for my the snout of my cat. That would work for a pig, it could work for a dog. You could also just crumble up a piece of newspaper and tape it on. So now it's your turn. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of animals you come up with. Make sure that you get that tape set up before you do anything else, and then you're gonna need two large sheets of newsprint to start to make that burrito for your body. Good luck. <laughs> 